Okay, the heart and the blood flow. So let's recap first the parts of the heart before we go to the blood circulation and how the blood flows into the heart. So the heart has four chambers. We got the right atrium, the right ventricle, the left atrium, and the left ventricle. The right and the left part of the heart is separated with this muscle called the septum. The heart has also the valves that prevents the, black, the back flow. This is the tricuspid valve, that's the pulmonary semilunar valve, the bicuspid valve, and the aortic valve. The heart has also the blood vessels that brings blood back and away from the heart. We have the superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, pulmonary artery, pulmonary vein, and the largest, the ar largest artery, which is the aorta. Okay, let's continue with the blood flow. So how does the blood enter the heart and be distributed to all parts of the, of the body? So let's start from the right side. All the blood or the oxygenated blood that's coming from the head, upper part of the body is brought by the superior vena cava to the right atrium. Blood from the lower part of the body is brought and taken by the inferior vena cava to the right atrium. The right atrium pumps blood to the left, to the right ventricle, passing through tricuspid valve. Right ventricle pumps blood to pulmonary artery through the passing through pulmonary semilunar valve. Pulmonary artery carries blood to the lungs where exchange of gases takes place where deoxygenated blood becomes an oxygenated blood which is now rich in oxygen and turns into reddish in color. Oxygenated blood from the lungs is carried back to the heart through the pulmonary veins to the left atrium. The left atrium pumps blood to the left ventricle passing through bicuspid valve. Left ventricle pumps blood to the aorta passing through aortic valve. Aorta, the largest artery, pumps blood to all parts and distributes blood to all parts of the body. Okay, let's have a recap, guys. Let's make it faster. So, deoxygenated blood from the upper part of the body is carried by superior vena cava to the right atrium. Deoxygenated blood from the lower part of the body is carried by inferior vena cava to the right atrium. Right atrium pumps blood to the right ventricle passing through tricuspid valve. Right ventricle pumps blood to the pulmonary artery passing through pulmonary semilunar valve. Pulmonary artery carries blood to the lungs where exchange of gases takes place. Deoxygenated will become oxygenated where it becomes an rich in oxygen making them red reddish in color. Oxygenated blood in the lungs returns to the heart through the pulmonary veins and carries blood back to the heart to the left atrium. The left atrium pumps blood to the left ventricle passing through bicuspid valve. Left ventricle, which is the largest, ve largest ventricle, pumps blood to the aorta passing through aortic valve. Aorta brings and carries blood to all parts of the body or distributes blood to all parts of the body. So that ends our blood flow, guys. Hope you learned something about the heart.